Hello and welcome to this uh, PlayStation 4 controller video. Um, I'm going to be introducing you to the SCP Server 1.1. It uh, not recently. It had an update. I've been needing to do a update video for um, the PlayStation 4 to um, uh, Xbox 360 controller um, a thingy for a while, but I just haven't been able to get around to it. This is the thing, I'll show you the new features in a moment, but first let me drag you to the website. I'll have this linked below. The way you download it, you scroll down here to where it says attached files, you download, oh, holy crap, there's an updated, updated version. I, uh, oh, okay. Okay, so anyways, you download the DS4 Tool 1.20 or .2. Currently, that is the most updated version. So go ahead and download that one. Just click the thing there. If there is a newer one, for example, 1.2.3 or 1.3 or something like that, go ahead and download that instead because it'll you want the most up-to-date version. So go ahead and click on that. Downloading. Uh, just gonna ho go ahead and open up the folder. So you can see it's here. Let me just cancel the thing right here because I have it downloaded. Um, I am using WinRAR, um, but you can use anything else. I'm, if you're using WinRAR, extract to DS4 tool folder, and it makes a folder. So Now, what you want to do is, this is personally my preference, um, but over here I have my program files. You can see I have the original DS tool uh, 1.1, and now I will be updating to 2.2. .2, so. I'm going to drag this folder into here where it, so now it will move um, the thing in here I'm going to I'll delete that later but for now I don't need to so now I can close out of my downloads now right click um, on SCP server the application itself um, you want to press create shortcut drag that to your desktop and so now I have a I'm gonna rename it real quick 1.2.2 and so now I have a up-to-date version of SCP Server. Um, I was actually going to do it with SCP Server 1.1, which I will now delete. Are you sure you want to move this shortcut? Deleting the shortcut does not. Install? Yes. Okay. Um, so now I have this. I went ahead and ran it. I noticed the new features. So let me go ahead and tell you that. Uh, first of all, the lighting bar up here. When you adjust the color, it actually changes the perception thingy right here and which is something that is really cool you can click on this to make it any color so if I were to press OK and I look at my thing or my PlayStation controller it is now that color it's not quite that green because it doesn't have that great a color depth but as I am moving this around on here it is actually changing the way the color looks mostly I think just for the red because I clicked the red last I don't know but I'm not going to press set because I don't want it to, s to save that color. Oh, it actually saved that color. I didn't like that color at all. Set. Say, okay. Now it's the color I want. So it has the normal rumble motors like it did before. But now, if you notice here, the 6 axis gyro stuff, it gives you information on that where you can see these things here changing. It shows you the controller itself. You can map it custom. Uh, where you map each thing to something special, which I will probably be using. Um, I'm going to see if I can map that to something and for uh, Binding of Isaac, because if I can, that will make the game even more of a better experience, because I'm running two programs in order to do that. So if I don't have to run either of those and just run the DS4 uh, SCP server thing, then that would be much, much better. So then they also have the the touchpad things. Um, <clears throat> something that I really like was in SCP Server 1.1, they enabled touchpad. But what sucked is every time you started it up, um, it was on. So now they have a enabled touch at start, uh, not checked by default, which is so much nicer. I hated having to press L2 and then the touchpad in order to set it off. And this pretty much fixes that. So I think it automatically turns the thing on. Right now it is over running over Bluetooth. I event I somehow got uh, Bluetooth to work over this, which is very good. Um, I'll, I have the cable routed around my computer only for charging. 
Um, and the, it's simple. The way I have it reconnect to my computer, like after I restart or something, you just press the PlayStation button and it works. So yeah, it is really nice. Um, let's see, I can press that to hot. Oh, I don't want to do that. Yeah. So that is really cool. Um, and if you press controllers, it opens up uh, this thing where you can go to properties and see all the buttons in real time as you press them. Very cool. So. I will tinker around real quick with the custom mapping and I will be right back. Okay, so I have uh, tinkered around with this. I made it so the D-pad and the um, the buttons, the that is the triangle, square, X, and circle buttons, correspond to WASD and then the shooting, which is up, down, left, right. And also the thumbsticks also um, correspond to uh, WASD and... Um, uh, the thingy which is up down left right so it's really really easy to do actually you just click the save button I created my own save called Binding of Isaac um, now I can just click on here I can move around with my left thumbstick and use the right thumbstick or the buttons to um, just kill them and it's really cool um, I have uh, let's see I have the space button mapped to the tr R2 trigger uh, and I have um, the shift button in this case mapped to um, the L2 trigger and then I also have the share button correspond to the escape and I have um, I have uh, the Q button which is used for um, for tarot cards and stuff in this game mapped to the share button and then also I have the touchpad enabled so I can click on stuff uh, because Binding of Isaac, you do need to click on things. So, yeah, now I only need to run one thing. So that is it for this. Let me go ahead and X off Binding of Isaac. I need to turn the sensitivity down on... Um, looks like the thumbsticks no longer click. Okay, so you actually click with the touchpad now, which is interesting, but I don't really think I like it. But yeah because this thing right here is so sensitive okay that is much better turning this sensitivity to 26 you have to move your hand a lot more but you don't accidentally move it as much so that is very good all in all I really like this update I really should have checked it out sooner anywho thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed and I am going to listen to this song so goodbye Probably can't play it because of copyright stuff, but woo!